you know, that we've done our due diligence. I think it always comes back for us. It's it's right player, right price, and the right price part of it is is very important. Uh, that you don't want to, and it's always tough. And people make the comparison in free agency that you're that you're spending, you know, you're paying retail. So, and I know we were active last year with with some of those guys, but the, but that's usually that traditionally happens when you hire a new staff and, and, you, and you, you feel like you want to get a, a new influx or, or whether it's a style thing, you want to bring in some different guys. So uh, I think Ray's already spoke to it, said that, that you know, moderate spending. Uh, but again, we've, we've evaluated a lot of players and, you know, not just guys that are UFAs and RFAs, but, but guys that are being released from rosters. And, uh, you know, it, it, however we, we can add a guy to a roster that, that we feel can help us with it. You can't you talk saw? about Buster Screen since he's, you know, still one of your guys in here. Mm-hmm. Are you guys working hard to try to get him wrapped up for tomorrow? Yeah, again, that, that's uh, that's something that you know the bus is a guy that really came on for us, uh, and it's it's one of those things where where he could go out and, and, and get blown away in the market. We, we have parameters for for where we are. You, you always set thresholds for players, so we certainly feel that bus is the right player. But but for us, it, it certainly also has to be the right price. Can, uh, go ahead. Can you soften that stance at all because of? the cap room that you have, and you get anxious when you see other teams signing maybe big name guys that you'd be interested in? Uh, you can. I mean, there's always some flexibility, and it's the, the free agency situation. I mean, it's very fluid. I mean, you get phone call on this guy, and then all of a sudden this guy just got cut, and then this guy might be available. You know, he's only going to get this tender, and, and all, all that information that's flowing in, and you're and you're trying to piece it together. I mean, it, it's, it, it is very fluid. How about some of the other guys you might lose, though, uh, shared and and Jordan Cameron, are you going to have to just make up ground for your own guys that you might lose here? You think? Yeah, we we feel we're we're in a good position that, that we're you know we're evaluating guys that we know can help us win. Uh, we feel confident too in, in this year's draft with the number of picks that we have and our our flexibility there. Uh, that there'll be an influx of new players. If we, if we do need to replace guys that we're losing, then then so be it. That's on us as coaches. We bring in a new guy. We got to get them developed. Mike, why not give? Uh to Sean Gibson coming off a Pro Bowl year, a first round tender considering you know, the risk of a, a, a team making a strong push for Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we had long meetings you know, on that and, and, and went over all of our options. Uh, and we're, 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 we feel very good about Deshaun and, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll see here so, you know, soon enough how it plays out. But um, you know, that, was, that was the decision we made. Hi, thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Sorry.